Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Today, let's ask the question, should you remove old apps from the app store? Okay, so every so often I contemplate deleting some of my old apps, right? And I just and I don't because I don't see see the purpose on it. So basically, this is what happens. I'll get an email uh, from somebody or a or, or a comment or something saying with an enhancement saying, "Hey, this app is great," or "This app is this app is rubbish. You should do this to change it." And I'll get like change requests, or sometimes it might be a minor little bug that's just not it's it's not that bad, but it's just sort of something that that annoys people. And I'll get this through, and I'll look at it, and I'll think. This is with an app that we did that doesn't get a lot of downloads. It doesn't make any revenue, right? And it's, you know, we did it ages ago, and I think maybe I should just remove it. Maybe, you know, rather than make this change, maybe I should just remove it from the app store. And, I, you know, and I think, and then I could just focus on the big apps, right? But I, the thing is with these little apps, I still have hope that one day they'll take off. And I have had that happen in the past where I had an app that just was getting, you know, two or three downloads a day. And then like, after a year of it being on the app store, it just took off. It was Korean, uh, it was um, Korean flash quiz, I think, right? Or no, it was Korean bubble bath, right? And it just took off all of a sudden, right? And uh, it got, well, I, I take took off, it got to like 40 downloads a day, right? Which is not really, not really taking off but so I think about removing some of the old apps and the reason I keep them is because I don't really see the reason to, to remove them right and it's different with iOS when iOS when a new version of iOS comes out and nothing works you know like I have to update for iOS 11 some of those I haven't updated yet right they just weren't worth my time you know it's if it's gonna take me like three hours to, to fix something or to add a new enhancement and the app is making me like a dollar a month or you know 10 cents a month or something like that. It's not really worth the time to put into it, <clears throat> but it's still, it's still out there. So, you know, and I, and I think, should I remove it? Should I just remove it because it doesn't, it, it doesn't perform very well. But the thing is, it doesn't really cost me anything to keep them out there, right? And more importantly, I invested a lot of money in it to begin with. So I think, you know, I, I don't really want to remove it except for on iOS, unless, you know, if it's, you know, it, when iOS, when Apple starts um, rejecting your apps because you have too many of them, you know, for whatever reason, they just start getting, you know, the, the way they've been, then yeah, maybe we can move a bunch of them from, from iOS. And um, it's one of the things that I, while I was thinking about it, I was thinking, I think one of the reasons why it's easier to rank on iOS and to do ASO on iOS is because you, because apps can actually die on iOS, on, on, on the Apple App Store. Right, so it's either going to be like the platform uh, keeps, you know, lots of apps were not compliant with iOS 11. I mean, a lot of mine weren't, so I had to go through and update them. Right, I know a lot of clients come to me because their apps are no longer compliant with iOS 11, and they want me to update them for, you know, and not, you know, because they had another developer do them years ago, and the other developer doesn't want to work on them anymore. I get that a lot, right? But more importantly, a lot of app developers who try and aren't committed to making it work. Yeah, you know, when their uh, Apple App Store, um, their Apple Developer account expires, they don't renew. So all of their apps just drop off the App Store, right? I have some client. I have a client who we did an app for. It was a company, and uh, and they just kind of got tired of the app. You know, it was getting a it was getting a few downloads, but not very many. But it was like a really good app. It was one of, some of our best work. Uh, but they just sort of let their Apple developer account, ex you know, expire. So all their apps are missing off the app store. Uh, and you see this, you see this a lot. So, you know, so Apple is, you know, one of the problems I think with Google Play is that it's going to get to the point where there's so many old ancient apps out there that nothing, that nothing dies. Everything just stays there. It's like old, it's like old websites, nothing, you know, it's gonna get harder and harder to rank for keywords when you got so much junk out there and nothing actually goes away. But I mean, I'm just as guilty about this myself. I never remove anything. So my question to you, is there a benefit to removing apps from the app store? Do you see any benefit to it? Because for me, you know, once it's done, and plus I've invested the money in it, and there's still the hope that it might take off. Once it's done, I see no reason to remove them. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So